videos where you have an officer basically around the neck area. To These two retired Vegas cops now podcast hosts. They don't have ID, they can't get into a hotel room. To, to get them the help they need, especially if someone even gets arrested. A lot of people don't know how the justice system works. But I want someone to actually know them and, and know that it's... Thanks for that. See you on the other side. Hey everybody, this is David Kohlmeyer, The Problem Solver. Thanks so much for joining us every single week, talking about problems, bringing on amazing people, guests that have a lot of different experience, that want to share some wisdom. Thanks so much again for The Problem Solver today. As usual, my, well, I have a mini co-host over here today is mini. Kyle Kohlmeyer, my son. Hi, Kyle. Say hi, Kyle. Say hi, hi, Kyle. Hi, everybody, it's Kyle. <laughs> Thanks for having me here today. <laughs> and then we have my co-host here. We have Jean T, hello, Dr. G. Hello, hello, hello. Thanks, Dr. G, for joining us. So today we have my lovely daughters. Special Who are guests. very special. Special guests. Mini problem solvers. We have Chloe Colmeyer. Welcome, Thank Chloe. Thank you. Ooh. Chloe, this is her second time oh. debuting her problem solving skills on the Problem Solver Show. And we have Kyla Colmeyer. Thanks so much, Kyla Colmeyer, for coming. Ooh. Kyla, how are you today? Good. Good. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Don't be shy, honey. So we have Chloe. We have Kyla. We have Kyle. We have the three Ks. Sometimes, Kyle, we call him Jose. <laughs> on Wednesdays. So give us on a, Taco Tuesdays. Give us a little story about why they're all K's. They're all K's, you know, because my last name's Colmeyer. Ah. And my wife's Camellia, so we figured we'll do all the K's. Oh. And so kind of like the Kardashians, you know, oh, like I see. Chloe, Kyla, Kyle. And then when I go out sometimes of a reservation, I'll say I'm Kevin. Oh, so okay. To make sure we have all the K's. Oh, perfect. That's that's amazing. So this is yeah. what you do. You have a lot of time on your hands. <laughs> Setting it up, huh? Yeah. For the future. For the future. Yeah, got it. So these mini problem solvers, they were dying to come on. They, they love Dr. G there. Oh. They're fans of Dr. G, just like everybody else that's out there. So, yes, you know, you. They, they don't have school. And um, I know that their school is over. They did a great job in school. They all, they all have great grades. Oh. I feel like Kyle's like a puppet here. You know? <laughs> like, hello, hello, my name is Kyle. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Kyle, just do your mouth. Is like, what do you call those things? Um, uh, Ven Ventil Ventriloquist. 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 Let's try it here. Let's yes. try one more time. You ready? <laughs> Hello. My name is Kyle. It's very nice to be here today. Just Hello, your mouth. Hello. Thank you. So anyway, the funny thing is like 30 years from now, they'll watch this. This is digital real estate. Yeah. At Sticky Paws Studio. Studios. So what are we talking about right. today? Bullies So they basically, right? they, they had school for the year. They had an interesting year. They did really well in the grades. Aww. So I wanted to bring them on to see if they wanted to talk about some different topics. I think bullying is one topic, which is okay. something they could talk about. But okay. what would you like to start with, Chloe? Take lead. Um, you want to talk about like responsibilities in the home as for, for children? Or do you want to start with bullying? Do you have a story um, about being bullied in school? Yes. You do? Okay, well, tell us about that. Let's, let's start with that. Um, so these, um, so some people might not um, bully someone. They might do... They might target the whole family um, to make it more of a problem. Mm. And so I was outside in recess, and these two girls come over to um, me and Kyla, and they say, um, can I guess her age? Is she three? Is her name this? Mm -hmm. um, and it's every day in school they they just um, follow us. Um, they follow both of you? Yeah. And there's two girls? Yes. Ah, okay. Are they bigger than you or smaller? Not, like, same uh, height. Uh, same, okay. But the reason why they do it is because in a private school, like, they don't take, like, they're not so serious about it. Mm. So every single, like, it start, like, it started two years ago. They don't do anything about it. The private, your school doesn't do anything about it? No. So you go to a private school? Yes. Oh, and do, have you reported it to the principal? I reported it, I've, I've reported it more than five times. Oh, wow. And they don't do anything? No. Oh, my God. But what if they did something? I mean, but the girls were still bullying you, though, right? I mean, right. The, yeah. So what are they doing exactly besides... You They're know. like, it's not going to happen, everything's going to be fine. Mm -hmm. uh, 
but they always say they'll like contact their parents, but they never do. Right. So one day, I found a teacher, and she always asks us how we're doing. And one day, I decided just to say, these two girls are bullying us. Um, and she responds, let me, let me talk to them. Like every single person. So she takes um, the two curls and she says something to them. Mm -hmm. And then that same recess, they talk to maybe two principals. And she said that she never happened again. Or if it does, it's gonna become a problem. So the next day, they do something again. So I meet her in recess. And I tell her again. And she talked to the girls. And she said, the next time this happens, they're going to be, like, out of the school or... Like, expelled? Yeah, expelled. Yeah, they were going to kick them out of the school? Right. Okay. And then? But they keep doing it. So they still do it, regardless, huh? Regardless. It's now, do, do, are they just using words right now? Have they used like bad words with you? Um, maybe once or twice, but okay. it's not that. They also like use um, physical things, like they would push us. Oh, or they do. Oh, so they have gotten physical. Yes. And, and you don't do anything back, right? I don't because my mother always says, if you do something back, it's not going to change anything. Mm. Well, actually, that's not totally true. I mean, the Bible says if someone pushes you and does something to try to hurt you, you have to protect yourself. And we always yeah. tell them, I don't care what school it is, that, that she has to protect yourself and, yes. and defend yourself. And I think Jonti would say the same in her experience. You need to step up and, and protect yourself and your family. What do you think, Dr. First, well, uh, okay, go ahead. First thing <laughs> is... Anytime I go home and I tell them about it, yes. they... Your parents, they go, right? right? Okay. They go too far. They teach me how to do karate. Ah, I was going to ask that. They're, they like... So that's why, like, sometimes I can't tell them. Okay. Because I don't want them... We're to, advocating to protect But you don't want to learn those techniques? I do know those techniques. Okay. Well, then you need to show those girls what you know. Well... <laughs> See, that's They're just going to go back to it. They're just this is the first time we agreed on the problem like solver. Doing more. <laughs> that's not true. They're going to do more if I like. If that's not true. Okay, Doctor G, it's better when it comes from somebody else. You tell. Okay, her. so when I was in school, okay, when I was your age, all through elementary school and middle school and even high school, I got picked on all the time. Every single day, I had to get into a fight at the bus stop, on the bus, in school, everywhere because. Well, in my school, I was the only Asian in, at right. that time, right? And so I fought every single day. My clothes would be just torn and tattered by the time I got to school. And for the longest time, I didn't fight back because, you know, I'm like, I don't want to fight back and all that stuff, right? Because I'm a nice person. And you would think that they would, they're nice too. So I just cry and cry and cry. And I remember telling my mother the same thing, just like you did. And my mother showed me some karate moves. <laughs> She said, next time they say something to you again, you do this and this and this. <laughs> and, you know, and I don't remember exactly, but I think what, I, what happened was next time I got picked on by those same people, I started fighting back. Because my mom, I remember my mom telling me that, oh, I didn't hear you come back to say anything else. You know, so I fought back. Now, maybe you're not ready yet, okay, to fight back, but when you are, you just remember all these moves you learn, okay? Because sometimes you have to stand up for yourself when you cannot take it anymore, is what I'm saying. You're going to reach a point where you're going to go, you know what, I am tired of getting picked on, you know, so I'm going to beat this person up. Now, I don't, I, don't want you to, <laughs> I don't want you to, like, go and beat everybody up, you know, just as a defense, okay? Just to defend yourself. But one day you're going to get tired. For now, if you can ignore it, just like you're doing, okay? If you can just ignore it and walk away, then ignore it and walk away. And, or if you see them coming, just go the opposite way if you can. Right. If they chase after you to try to cause trouble, then you turn around and go, you know what? Let's go. You know? Hiya! You know? <laughs> Do what you know. 
I wanted to um, say a story my mother told me. Okay. So she was in this grade, and this boy always picked on her every single day. And she also didn't feel right to fight. So one day, the boy was sitting in front of her in a seat, and she felt so mad, she just like, took her foot and pushed the chair up. And since that day, the boy never, like... Mess with her again, right? right? Yep. See? I, I think the goal is just, you have to stand up for yourself, even to myself, and we all remember people that may have been bullies, that you have to stand up for yourself at one point in time. It doesn't have to be always so physical, but mm-hmm. you could even just say stop, or like you say it loudly, right? Like, stop, you know? Like, leave me alone, like people hear me, you know? So there's different, every, every situation is a little bit different. Like I said, I still remember, I always tell Chloe, you know, and Kyla, different stories myself when I was younger where mm-hmm. I wanted to be friends with certain people or they wanted to, you know, get money for me and stuff like that. And they would say, hey, I don't have money and they didn't want to be friends with me. Right. You know, so different things like that. So every situation is a little bit different and dynamic, but they definitely have to speak up and use their voice. Um, and so they're not a victim. Why right? don't you bribe me to be your friend? I do bribe you. <laughs> you, you know that I do. <laughs> So, anyway, <laughs> Kyla, what do you, Kyla, tell us what your thoughts are in regards, to, she's a little bit yeah. younger, don't be shy, tell yeah. us what are your thoughts, so when that happened in the, in the recess, what were your thoughts with the little, uh, with, the, with the other girls that were there, were you upset, were you, I know you're a little more shy. How did you feel, honey? How did you feel? Angry. You're angry, okay, it's okay to feel angry, why did you feel angry? You didn't like what they were doing? What, what, what did they do that you didn't like? Just talk to me like it's a regular conversation. What 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 did you not like? They kept bothering us. Okay, so what can you normally do? Right, you can walk away. You can say something. You can go to the teacher. Right, there's different things that you can we do. We try all those things. And then, so eventually, did they try to touch you? Did they try to hurt you? Kyla, yes, both. So eventually, you have to protect yourself if you think they're really going to try to hurt you. They're really going to try Kyla, to hurt you. was it the words or was it? The action. When they said, oh, are you two years old? The it, words. The words. So no matter where you are, as you get older, you have to speak up. I'm not saying that you have to like resort to violence, but to protect yourself in different ways. And protect yourself could be just words, very saying it very loudly in general. You know? so words we have are to, power. Words are very powerful, especially your tone or your demeanor of how you look. Right? But I'm like, please stop. Right? And then people are like, oh my God, I'm going to stay away from them. So how do, you feel? how do you feel at the end of the year now? Do you feel better? Do you feel, did they, did they leave you alone? Did you become friends with them better? You became friends with them? No. no never no. friends with them. They always apologize. Oh. And they're like, please, sis. They did? And it's, it's never sincere. Oh, okay. No. They're being sarcastic. Right. Apologies. So what's the end result for the year? You went through a whole year. You went through a lot of different things. Like, what would you share with others? What would you share with other people that are going into your old grade? What grade are you going to now? You're going to fourth? Fourth, yeah. So for third graders, so second graders are going to third graders. What type of advice, how, advice or how could they solve these problems mm-hmm. themselves? Well, I felt very stressed and not very calm. And they should try um, um, to try to figure out like um, as my therapist would say like figure out your feelings <laughs> my therapist figure out like they have a school therapist that they talk oh, to oh they're okay how your like your feelings and That's so cute solve that why did they do this and maybe if you solve that out you can maybe find the right teacher or mm-hmm. explain about it mm-hmm. better so get some help right so, it sounds like yeah. a lot cheaper <laughs> if you would just say scream at them and say get get away from me, <laughs> right? Yeah. If I start getting like some well, school wait, therapist bill, does a school does a school therapist charge y'all? No, no. It's oh, just, okay, it's, it's part of the school. You just right? talk to the kids and okay, see how they feel. Like a guidance teacher. Guidance, oh, like a guidance, guidance counselor. Guidance counselor. Yeah. Therapist. Kyla, do you talk to the guidance counselor too? No. No. <laughs> how come? They don't. I don't need it. You don't need it. She's like, I don't. You need okay? It. You're gonna stand up for yourself. Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. She's like, I can okay. handle this. Aww. What would you share to other people? What grade are you in now? What grade are you going into? Second. And you were, so other people that were going into first grade, what would you tell them for the new year of how they can help themselves transition to first grade? Mm. What could you tell them? If you had to go back and say, hey, by the way, 
in first grade you should do this or watch this or be careful? What would you share? What kind of words of wisdom? Mm. I, I, I wouldn't know either, honestly. Okay. <laughs> All right, so anything else you want to share, Chloe? Chloe's more vocal today. Um, yeah. I wanted to also speak about the responsibilities of um, our, like us. As a, as a child? Like, yeah, like or going as to a school. Sister. Oh, going to school, okay. As a student. Right. Okay. So first thing is every morning, I, most of the time I'm always stressed yeah. because no one like helps. And I'm the only person who like does everyone's lunch, everyone's this. And while I'm doing that, I think about, I help them with homework and what should I do in class with them. Mm -hmm. And I'm always like thinking about that. I never have a real break. Mm. Because you're the big sister? Right. And you, so you do everything for all your, all your right. siblings, right? Okay. And one of the things I, I thought about is someone might think I am mean to them because I'm the oldest sister or, and I have to try to walk in their shoes <coughs> and mm -hmm. think how they would feel about me. For example, she hates when I, I'm the teacher and she thinks I'm always bossy. What would you do if you're the oldest sibling? Kyle? Would you make Kyle do homework? What would you do? If like Kyle said that I'm too bossy, I'll try to not be bossy. What would you, t what would you teach him? How to stand up for himself, karate. What would you teach him? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. What, what would you do if you were the big sister? So put yourself in her shoes, right? So if you were her, what would you do differently? Or the same? Like math. How would you do math? <laughs> She's yeah. like, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. So, so you feel pressure or stress because right. you have a lot of responsibilities. Correct. Right? Okay. And who puts those responsibilities on you? My mother and my father. And any time I explain that to them, they're yeah. like, oh, don't, you don't have to do that. But I'm always like, they always say like, why are you not doing that? I keep telling you to do it. Oh, right? okay. So they, so they contradict themselves. So they say you don't have to do that, but then they come back and say you have to do it. Right. That's not true. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> the bottom line is, I, we're teaching them to be very strong women and I'm men. I'm Dr. G, and I'm a therapist, a family therapist. And here. She's gonna send us a bill, ten thousand dollars. <laughs> the bottom line is, we're teaching them to be strong people, and of course, communication is key. Yes. Look at this little one here. That's why they have show and tell. You show it and you tell about it. Like, you speak about yes. it. Exactly. So it's good speaking about it, but then the next level is always going to be to protect yourself in regards to people. Yes. In regards to homework and school and all that stuff, right? You need to guys be good students and, and, and practice every day and to educate yourself so that you become successful in life. But she feels pressure because she's the one that has to be responsible for everybody else. So she's like a team leader. Yeah, exactly. Uh, why can't they be team leaders? They're right. part of our family. You can maybe... Um, Spread out the... Yes, yeah. the responsibility. Well, we do do that sometimes. It depends. When Chloe's no, not there, don't. Kyla no, helps out. We go back and forth. But right. Chloe is the team leader because she's older. She's older, she's, yes. She knows more in general. Yes. Kyla gets to be a little lazy sometimes. See that smile? Well, she's, sure. she's a little Just like they have chores. Do they have chores at home? They need to have a, a, more of a list. We ask them to help no, out. No, thank you. No, no thank you. don't want a list? I have enough. <laughs> you have enough to do? Well, no, yes, the I list do. is going to be for them too, not just for you. Well, they should have more work than me. Yeah. Well, they'll have their share. We ask for all of them to do that in general. Okay, good. But what else? never had time out. Who? Kyle. You're it's like too easy on him. Yes. We need to put him through the uh, a boot camp or something You're like that. You're too easy on him. Okay. So He's a little baby. She's expressing nice her. Well, she's a little baby, too. Everyone's a little You're baby. You're putting more pressure on me. Look how sweet Kyla. Yeah. She's you were just as sweet as you have to She's teach him. expressing her feelings I gotta teach right him now. Too? Yeah. Kyle, would you like to say anything? You seem like you want to be vocal. No. 
No? He's not ready yet. <laughs> Does the camera go? Is it, can we can zoom in <laughs> to see where his location? <laughs> Kyle? Right. Kyle, do you have anything to say? We only have a few minutes left. Yes. Do you want to you share anything or no? <laughs> we zoom in there? <laughs> Kyle, you're going to see this 10 years from now, 15 years from now. <laughs> you have anything to say? Don't say I didn't ask you he's to saying, speak today. He's saying it. We're zooming in there? Okay, yeah. so Kyle's hiding there. So this is good. You can hide. This is teaching us. This is how we can hide if something happens. We're yeah. learning today about the hiding technique. Okay, so okay. Daddy, so yes. Daddy, she's expressing some real concerns here that comes okay. from her. So remember, she's stressed about it. So Daddy, you're going to have to um, agree to, you know. Spread out the yes. That's the work That's hard for today. Yeah. Okay, we're going to spread it out. I, yeah. I will work on that as well. Responsibility, yes. We all have to become better. Chloe, any, we have a few minutes left. Anything else that you want to share about this last year that you feel that you could help others? Because what happens is the goal of Sticky Paws Studios, it's not about the full podcast. No one here cares about the podcast. Even okay, though it's I called Sticky to Paws Studio. The goal is to make golden nuggets okay, per yeah, legendary okay, John Orlando okay, okay. and make micro content so it goes viral organically and it's not scripted per John Orlando, the legend. <laughs> okay, let's go. All right. Okay. So please give us what some golden got? nuggets for John Orlando, the legend. Or you can even talk, or ahead. you can even talk about like really good things that happen in school that you really love or something. You know that can be. Chase, real quick, our engineer is where is John Orlando? Maybe we could do a quick zoom because because she is a fan. Is, uh, he, is he gambling as usual? Yeah, if I had to guess, I think there's a poker tournament or something going on. Well, there's a World Series of poker right now. That would be where he's at. Oh, okay. I, I, I I would bet on that. Got it. Okay. <laughs> Um, yeah, John does have a gambling problem, and he's trying to get some help. <laughs> so, the casinos are not the place for it. Do you believe in gambling and wasting money? Listen. Listen, she's got something else to talk about. Go ahead, honey. So my um, secular teacher was, I understand that teachers try to be like, while, while they're teaching, they don't want to be strict. They don't want to have, like, they want to have, um, like, care for that student. So my teacher, um, he always made jokes and this. And any time he would sit next to me, I felt so bad and I moved away. I just, like, I, I couldn't feel it. Why? He, he wants to make everyone laugh, but to me, my, his jokes sometimes are not funny. Who jokes? Her Mr. teacher. O. Okay. And in class, <laughs> You would not believe how many times he made a student cry. He made him cry? Yeah. With his jokes? Not in jokes, but like teaching. Oh. If they were out too long in their lockers, they would say like, oh, you were playing around. You have to go down to the office. Oh, he would send them to the principal's office? Sometimes. Sometimes, okay, okay. So he would dis discipline you. Right. Yes. So, um... But he's moving this year, ah. thank heaven. Oh, okay. So you don't like him um, very much. Okay. Every teacher's different. Yeah. Some are more stern than others. When, when I was in school, they used to spank us <laughs> with a paddle. Yeah. Things were more hardcore back in the day. Yeah. Chloe, you know, I was thinking about, you know, Chloe loves singing songs, and she goes to, you know, Hebrew school, which is Desert Torah, mm -hmm. and she sings, she knows prayers in oh. Hebrew. Oh. Is there any songs or Hebrew prayers that you'd want to sing with Kyla here? That, what's the number one thing that you like for the year? Like, is there a prayer? Um, is there a prayer for for me and Dr. G that you could do for us? There is. Um, you want to do it together, Kyla? There's only a prayer, um, a prayer that I know that like is helping the sick. Let's oh, so let's I'm, do a prayer. I, I'm sick. <laughs> She's I sick do. in love. I know I have a sickness. Go ahead. So we so how about this? How about let's we do a it. prayer for people in the community to get better for all of Las Vegas? For all okay. of Las Vegas. Okay. We'll do, can you do it together? Right now? Yes. Yeah. One. You do it together, Kyla? One. Put the microphone so they can hear Two. You. This will be nice. We'll do three. A, a prayer for anyone that's sick in Las Vegas. Go ahead. Yes, <laughs> I 
It's really good. That's awesome. Just think about it and they yeah. have to remember that. Yeah, that's really good. All in Hebrew. Good so they job. don't. So they don't understand. They're reading Hebrew. They're learning, but they yeah. don't understand what the I prayer. Know some of it. You know I some know of it. Hebrew. Yeah. Well, no one knows. I can read it, but I don't personally we, understand it. You don't. Oh, you don't even know what it is. I can read it, but I was never. You know, it was like part time learning it oh, in I school see. in Hebrew school. Oh. Do you know what it means? Yay. Yeah. Yeah. Kyla, can you explain what it means a little bit? No. Oh, no. You can't you translate it. I can't oh. translate it, but I'm learning how to translate some words. Okay, okay. Well, what, that's amazing. Uh, real briefly, what does it mean? Like, it's like to help. Um, it's like a um, blessing for the sick, like to feel better. Okay. Well, that was very nice. Well, thank very you. Sweet. Thank you very much. Well, hopefully, that prayer hit some people yes. within the community. <laughs> We're gonna have to push it out there into the world in Las Vegas. Okay. Any, we have two more minutes to wrap things up. Anything else, Kyla? What else would you like to share? Mm -hmm. This is your time. Don't say that you didn't come on the problem solver. They're the, the number one fans of Dr. G on the Problem Solver. <laughs> Any questions for Dr. G? Kyle was waiting um, to see Dr. G. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Kyle? Are you a Dr. G fan? This one? No. Yeah. No. You're not? Okay. <laughs> Kyla, any questions for Dr. G? No. She's very famous. She's on oh, TV. yes. So she's on Roku, like some so, unusual so, channel. So famous. <laughs> she's, on like, she's on channel 5,863 <laughs> on Roku. You, you watch that channel? No. You gotta keep pressing. She's also on Cambodian button. TV. Doop, if you're in doop, Cambodia, doop, doop. yeah, you're Cam yeah, you're in Cambodia. Yes. Do you want to go to Cambodia? We're gonna take a trip. Yeah. You wanna go to Cambodia? She's like, Where's where is that? that? <laughs> Where's that? That's in Southeast Asia. You know where Thailand is? It's far away. You know where Southeast Asia is? It's right next to New York. Yeah, right next to New York. Can we go? <laughs> yeah, we're waiting. Doctor, she's gonna take all of us, the whole family. I'll take you. No, she I'm has going a whole. To New York. You wanna, yeah, we're going to New York next Does week. Does she have family there? Yeah. How much family do you have there? Uh, a few. A few, yes. Okay. Do you have any questions for me? Do you speak a different language? I do, yeah. Cambodia. Cambodian, I'm sorry, and some French. Can you say a compliment to David? A compliment. Um, okay, Mong David. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Bong pa nye yun na, you know, mot bong pa nye yun, vi chen mao rang rul, you know. I was thinking the same exact thing. It's unbelievable we think a lot of things on the problem solver. Thank you so much for those kind words. Yeah, She's yeah. always saying kind words in Cambodia to me. All right, Chloe Rose, thank you so much for joining the problem solver. You're amazing. Thank you. Any last things? Yeah, thank you. Honey. We're running out of time. Each minute after 6 o'clock at 6 o'clock. Is it what time is it now? 6.02. It's, it's 6.02. We're on it's, golden time now. It's $100 per minute <laughs> after you've hit the time here. Good job, honey. This is like thank a bad you. vending machine. Thank you for coming class. on. <laughs> oh, about um, gambling. I, what should we I tell would, John Orlando? Because he's, he's probably unavailable because he's playing poker. I is, he in, is he in the room or no? Well, she has something no. to say. We, we were asking John to see if he was available. But I think he's not available. I want to take a chance because... Most of the time you lose, and it's not very, like, I'd rather earn money than lose it. You are mm. a smart girl, honey. Don't ever, ever, ever start gambling, okay? We're going to tell John Orlando Anything. as he's gambling away from <laughs> the Venetian. You can win a lot of money gambling. No, you cannot. <laughs> you will eventually lose all of it. Eventually. Eventually, yes. Yes. So keep okay. that in mind, Kyla, okay? Kyla, anything else you want to share? No. No. Kyla, thank you so much for joining today, The Problem Solver. You're very beautiful. Thank you so much for being here today. Yes. It was her birthday the other day. She <gasps> turned how old? Seven. Seven. Oh, yay. Happy birthday. Lucky seven. Lucky seven. And Chloe is? Eight. Turning nine. Nine. She's eight, turning nine. So we got oh. nine, seven. And Kyle, how old are you going to be turning? Four. Four? She's four, four now. Four. He's turning five when? When do you turn five? Tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow he turns really? five. No. He says that for everything. Everything's tomorrow. Oh, everything's tomorrow? You want to go to the bathroom? He's like, tomorrow. Are you lying? <laughs> You want to go eat something? He's like, tomorrow. That's one word that he knows. I see. Aww. That's the only word he knows is tomorrow. Oh, that's cute. It's better than yesterday. Okay, for, for $5, I'm going to give a question for you guys to see who gets it. 
Okay, ready? What is the day after yesterday? What's the day? The day before what? yesterday. What? Well, that would be good if it was on the Wednesday. Well, show. <laughs> what is the day after yesterday? You told me that joke. I forgot. Today. Today. He actually kind of said, he goes, what is today? Oh, is that what he said? Like he was on Jeopardy. Like, ah, what is today? You didn't say. You know Jeopardy? Did you, you win won that $500, one? $500, even though you probably had no $5. clue what I was saying. Remember, the we're not. The day after yesterday is today. Well, remember, gambling oh, is okay. bad. The day after yesterday. Was, this is yesterday. And I said the day after yesterday, which is today. That's kind of a trick question. Trick, even Chase yeah. couldn't get that. But Kyle kind of got it. He said, what is today? He was on Jeopardy. Oh, and he yeah, won $500. Yeah. Yay, Kyle. Yay. $5. $5. $5. Okay, $5. He's okay. A, so, Kyla, you thank you so much for joining the Problem Solver Mini Problem Solvers. You come back again. Thank you so much. Kyle, thank you so much for coming on. Say something here real quick. Say something to our viewers, our audience. No. No what? No what? Say something. No. Can you tell them you're going to brush your teeth every day? Say bye. Say bye. Okay. Bye, viewers. Say bye. No. <laughs> no and tomorrow. That's all he knows. All right, Chloe, thanks so much for joining us today. You're amazing as usual. A beautiful yes, young you lady. Are. Just like Kyla. Dr. G, thank you so much for joining us today sure. on The Problem Solver. You better change. The you, goal is for David Colmar, The Problem Solver, to change, to listen to your kids, to make changes, to work with people, solve problems that you need to speak up in regards to other people that bother you. Sometimes it's verbal. Sometimes that's my problem. That, that's her problem. That's none of your bees. Um, Beeswax? It's called beeswax. Beeswax. Yeah. Thank you so much. The bottom line is you need to, everyone needs to solve problems to remain calm, have composure, and try to solve the problem. And everyone's different of how they solve the problem. Right, Kyla? Yeah. Okay, Kyla, high five. Thank you so much for coming today on the Problem Solver. Chloe, so, Chloe Rose, high five, Dr. G. High five. Do a high five. Hey. High five, Dr. G. Thank All you so right. much for joining the Problem Solver. <laughs> We will see you next week on The Problem Solver, every single week solving problems. This week it was great having many problem solvers, Chloe, Kyla, and Kyle. All right. right. See you guys soon. And we'll see you guys next week. Dr. G, thanks so much. Be safe, be careful. See you next week.